Yo guys, Fuzzix here, bringing you my fourth tutorial on how to use the pen tool in Photoshop. Make a 2D logo into a 3D logo on Cinema 4D, all with y'all using the pen tool. But yeah, basically, I'll show you how to make something similar to this. Are you loading or not? I don't know. <sighs> Something very similar to this is like basically that, just like a triangle with a bit cut out. Now, like five of them are going to open, so like double clicked a couple of times. But yeah, so we're going to make something similar to this. Yeah, that was that started out like a 2D image, but then I made it 3D in Cinema 4D. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. So I'm going to drag this, which is what I made before. It's a really simple little half a triangle thing into Photoshop really simple like that nothing special and then I'm going to select the pen tool here which is just above the text tool and all I'm going to do is I'm going to find a part I'm going to find a corner so I'm going to use this top corner up here hold shift click on the corner I'm going to hold shift all the way through this process click shift again Click shift again there. In fact, now that's really the, the only reason I'm holding shift, guys, is it just makes it a lot accurate. Hold shift there. Shift there. If you've got any questions, guys, PM me or you know comment, and I'll answer them all on this pen tool thing. Got any questions at all? I'm just going to join it up here and I've got my pen tool thing here that's all been outlined with the pen tool and I'm going to go to file export paths to illustrator work path ok I'm going to put it, I'm going to save it to my desktop as uh, tut for logo I'm going to put know what's going on there logo make sure it says Adobe Illustrator and you got to save that and that's pretty much the whole pen tool forward slash Photoshop bit done I now need to open Cinema 4D which with my computer will probably take a couple of days so Cinema 4D close that um, I think it's loading. I hope it's loading. Should have probably opened this before I start the tutorial, but it's coming on now. Please like the video, comment on what you think, and you can subscribe if you want to, I suppose. Now I've got my Cinema 4D here. I'm just going to go to file and merge or control shift O and it should bring up a little open thing and I saved my logo on my desktop so I'm going to click up my desktop find what I called it and I called mine Tut for logo AI, which AI bit stands for Adobe Illustrator. Okay, and you can see, guys, I've got that little shape that I made, but it's not 3D yet. There's still a couple more steps we have to take to make it 3D. So here, guys, you'll see it says Tut for logo. You want to go over to this box here, hold it, and go to Extrude Nerves. You then want to drag your tut your object into this extrude nerves. And as you can see it's made it a little bit more 3D. To make it more 3D you just want to click on extrude nerves. And where it says 20 centimeters, you want to make this as big as you want, as however fat you want the logo. 200 there. But I'm only having mine about 60 or, or 80. Because I don't want it really fat. Some people might like it really fat. And I mean, you can use the frowsy effect on this, guys. If you don't know what the frowsy effect is, leave a comment and I'll do a tutorial on it. 
I want mine about, I'll put mine there, so about 8 to 7. I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, you can add, can add colour to it. I'd love to do that, actually. I'll just open one of my Lightroom colours. And I mean, that looks like a really simple logo. So, like, I could go and merge it again and maybe rotate it and, like, I don't know, slot that bit in there. You can't really see what I'm talking about there, but I know what I'm talking about, so it's alright. I'll show you guys in a minute. Just find something. Sorry about this, guys. I can see it nowhere. I'm looking for a. There we go. I'm trying to find a cinema 4D Lightroom just so I can like use the colours from it quickly. It would have probably been quicker to just make my own by now, but whatever. Sort of stuff like room. So guys, we've got that, and while my colours are loading down here, yes, whatever. I'm just gonna merge it again. File, merge. Going to merge this here. Going to. In fact, no, I don't have to do that. I'm talking. See, I talk rubbish, me guys. I don't have to merge it again. I can just go. I can just click back on this layer, extrude nerves, and hold. Go hold Control C, Control V. It's basically duplicated the layer, guys. And then I just have to go to this little rotation tool. Hold shift to make sure you get an accurate rotate. I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees. I don't know, it should be 180, 180 degrees actually, guys. Just do another 90 degrees. There we go. Oh, no, that's. Sorry about this, guys. Yeah, again. Failing. So. degrees and then I'm just gonna move that a little bit closer when it loads because my computer is really slow uh, I've got a message on sky we'll read that now can tell it's a good one slow tutorial as you can see guys all I've done is just flip the little logo thing around I think they're more or less in line with each other. Not too sure. No, they're not in line at all, but. To be honest, that's actually looking kind of like the L7 logo, Lucky 7 sniping. A bit. If you know what that looks like, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um. I'll just maybe go. Light on there and put like a green on that one just, to, just get some colours on them. Now that is looking like Lucky Seven's logo if that one were green and that one were light, but yeah, guys, that, if you think about it, if like, them two are perfectly in line, you could make a pretty sweet logo out of it, and that's pretty much it, guys. Really, so you use the pen tool and make it 3D in Cinema 4D, guys. So, yeah, peace.